Hello everyone, welcome to the Let's Integrate video series where we will discuss an integration scenario that's done in real-time business in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform projects. It could vary from simple to complex integration. Uh, integration could be within the Microsoft product suite or it could be with any third-party applications as well. In every episode, we invite a special guest to share their experience about an integration scenario that they worked with so that it could help everyone. So we discuss three key points in every episode. Firstly, what is the integration is going to about where a briefing of the integration use case is shared. Secondly, how it helped the business or how it added value to their project. Well, ideally it covers the problems that the integration solved. Then briefing about how it is done where the guest will brief about the details of it at a high level. Finally, as an add-on, a guest might enlighten us by showing a quick demo if possible. Let's jump into the action and start with our today's episode. Today we have Paul Solomon from Philippines. Paul is a co-founder and a business application MVP and also a BizApps ASEAN community lead who does lots of interesting stuff and great stuff. Hi Paul, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm good Jiba, what's up? Yeah, doing good buddy. Yep. I'm cool. Um, getting, getting ready for this video, you know, very excited <laughs> to collaborate with you. Uh, that's nice. Good to hear. So Paul, would you like to give some quick introduction about yourself? Oh yeah, so um, again, I'm Paul Sullivan from the Philippines. So um, I am a Microsoft MVP for Business Ops here in the Philippines. So I'm leading the Biz Ops PH community. So um, it's also we also started the um, ASEAN's uh, Biz Ops UG in 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 um, APAC with with Jiva and Sanjeev and all the other fo folks in in um, in our group. Um, yeah, so I ran two startup companies. So I, I, I have Hacktiv, a business application focused company. Then I have Raven, a a company that uh, that does property management and tenant experience automated management system. And yeah, so so my passion is really to to help you know um, um, Filipino to to be really into business applications and to you know give opportunities to. To other to other folks here in the Philippines who wants to explore a career in business applications. Wow, that's nice. I mean, you're doing great stuffs, which I've been seeing recently and closely. And good luck uh, again, Paul. Um, so, shall we go into the session? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, so technically, why we're gonna use SharePoint plus AI AI Builder is to build simple but efficient document management system. For us mm -hmm. to integrate our, our, you know, this OCR processing, this hard copy processing, this PDF processing, and turning those um, files or data or information to a um, to a information that can be useful. And you know, to do that, you need to buy expensive OCR devices. You need to do more coding, and of course, if you want to, you know acquire a document management system that is very sophisticated you know you need to like um buy a an expensive document management system but here what were uh, the, the the three main points here in using sharepoint plus ai builder is number one no more expensive ocr devices you don't need to buy any ocr devices just to detect the data inside your forms or PDF. Number two, this is citizen developer certified, meaning you don't need to code, you don't need to do scripting. It's gonna be pure um, power automate and AI builder. And number three, it's pure AI automation, meaning I will not do like a scripting from R or from Azure. What I'm just gonna use is a model from my um, AI builder, but technically what it does, it's really, it's a pure AI automation, meaning I did not do any coding for that, but 
because of the democratized um, technology by Microsoft using AI Builder, I was able to create my model for literally 30 minutes. Wow. So the process is something like this, is for my input, so um, whatever PDF you the, the customer or the colleague was sent to Outlook, it will be processed using AI Builder in Power Automate. So it will process the information and it will convert it to metadata. Then um, on the output side, it will be saved inside SharePoint and then it will extract the metadata from that specific document. So this is how the process of, of that solution works. Number one, uh, anything that will be sent um, through Outlook, it will be processed. Mm -hmm. um, using AI Builder and Power Automate. So technically it will extract and then and convert um, information to metadata. Then the output would be um, saved in SharePoint, the file itself or the PDF itself. But the good thing with that is the process metadata will be saved to columns or fields inside my SharePoint document. So this, you know, um, integration process will really help our companies or, or the organization to really not um, um, put manpower in, in terms of encoding metadata and doing such manual things. All right, so um, what I'm going to show you now is how I built it. So we're going to, I'm going to take you into action now. I'm just going to show you like a, a brief, of course, um, you know, uh, content on how I did that, but you know, I'm gonna be like sharing another, um, I think, video or, or vlog for that that I'm gonna be creating on YouTube for my channel. But I think you will see it first in Jiva's um, <laughs> in Jiva's uh, show. So I'm gonna share my screen now. Oh sure, thank you. Okay, so um, this is my so crazy SharePoint list. So you know, this is just my playground. So what I'm going to show you today, again, as I mentioned, um, um, I just created a SharePoint uh, folder in this document. Then the good thing about SharePoint is you don't even need to master it for you to be able to understand it. Like, let's say, for example, I want to upload something here, then, or I just drag and drop files. Okay. So I'm going to drag and drop my file. Oops. Let me share my whole screen. Okay. All right. So let me drag and drop file here. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing it manually, right? So I need to drag and drop file. I need to like uh, input metadata here, something like this. So let's say the title of this um, of this content is architecture or ARC uh, 2001, and it will save. Then, you know, the good thing about SharePoint is I've added columns here already for me to be able to, like, you know, to put metadata. And again, as I mentioned, even if you have the, the SharePoint, um, you still need to to, to, to ask encoder to, to encode some metadata here. Then I'm gonna solve that later when I show the, I, when I show Power Automate and AI, AI Builder on action or in action. So here, um, what I want to show you is the metadata, okay, are being saved. The good thing with this is you don't need to, like, um, you know, um, buy an expensive document management system. If you're ha if you have Office 365, you can use SharePoint already. So here you can see that I can already, like, this is just a sample that um, I'm doing. So it detects this one. All right, so this is the client name and this is the architect. This is the like the um, the plan inside this um, PDF. So if you want to put metadata here, let's say a customer for this particular um, um, PDF. So here it's say a boo corp. So again, if you don't have uh, yet the AI builder, so you need to manually type this one. Okay. So the moment and you upload the documents into the uh, SharePoint list, the automatically detects all the data from the document, isn't it? Yes, but we need an AI builder to 
to to um, automatically encode everything yeah. here, right? So what I'm going to do is to delete this, um, you know, SharePoint uh, file. So here I want to show you the model that I've created in my um, AI builder. Then I'll open Power Automate so it loads. Okay, and the email as well. So let me load this. All right. So the good thing about this is I'm 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 not gonna use any OCR or whatever um, you know traditional way of doing document management system, but I'm gonna use the power of AI Builder. So technically, what I'm gonna be using today is the form processing. Um, model so here i just like uh create something here so this is like the dms model that i've created so if if i show you this okay so technically this model is uh it detects the um the client name the architect name and other details in my um in my hard copy or pdf so let me like uh let's say I want to drag this uh, file here. Then as you can see, it would detect this um, text and fields. Okay, so it detects the client name and the architect, right? Okay, so yep. close this one. So what it does is everything that has uh, every details here it, it will be uh, getting this and then passing that to to SharePoint later but to do this of course you need to have a flow to control of course the flow of your um, automation so technically here if I'm going to edit this flow it's simple as like um, for um, coming from my customer or from my colleague um, when when of course an email arrive and then, um, of course, it has an attachment. What I will do is to like read that attachment and then process the information from that particular an attachment. Okay, coming from the email, then create file in in um, in SharePoint that has this. But this is very tricky, you know. So um, sometimes if you don't put extension, so Microsoft will uh, sorry SharePoint will save the file, but the problem is it will not recognize file type so you should be you should put this one so you should be able to save the actual file to your sharepoint document then attachments of course the file content then what i will do is to get the the um, process information here in my ai builder then put it inside my sharepoint um, file property all right so I can say I want to, to test this out. Hopefully this runs because I did not test it for like two weeks ago. May the demo goes be with us. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me like um, email something to my citizen developer email. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see that I've deleted documents here. It should be able to put something there. Okay, uh huh. There you go. So let me just use my uh, Paul Solomon zero eight live email. Oh, sorry, because I'm in a meter connection. So let me just use this anyway. I'll send it to myself. Please process and save. So I'm going to attach um, a, a document here. Let's say this one. Okay, then send. Hopefully this runs. Okay, the flow is running now. There you go, done there so technically it gets the information uh, on this particular um of course uh document that i put in so it gets the client name blah 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 then 
here it will run the of course it will create a file then this one okay the file name will be getting on the subject but you can change that if you want but for me for the sake of demo i just did that and it's supposed to save here let me refresh this there you go so the the good thing with this is um you know it automatically get the metadata so this is the customer okay so yeah. this is the architect Paul Soliman and um if I click this one to like check if the um, process information was right okay let's do the document I technically I can open it here all right so because the data is um Client name is Startup Inc. I think it the AI got it correctly here. All right. So the architect is my default value. So anything that you put there, if if it doesn't detect the architect, then it will go Paul Suleiman. But you know, it's here already, right? Yeah. All right. So the good thing about that solution is I did not use any OCR or whatever traditional scripting that i need to use i just use uh, a, a model a form processing model in my ai builder connect that using power automate then you know every every you, you can you can explore forms or whatever it does it, it it depends on how your client you know process their documents or whatnot and how to and how to store them inside sharepoint um sharepoint document but the good thing here is um, they can use this already, this SharePoint uh, document, they can use this already to, you know, search metadata for a particular file. So if you're talking about your client consuming like a thousand of document a day, this solution is going to be better. They don't, they doesn't need to expend so much in terms of, you know, um, having this uh, or acquiring document management system um, by just using SharePoint. AI Builder, Power Automate, and of course Outlook, they can already, you know, um, automate and um, solve a particular issue within the, which is um, document scanning and document archiving. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, that's a wonderful use case. Uh, thank you, Paul. It's simple and very effective that could help business in many ways. And uh, uh, I know when you talk about thousands of documents, uh, being processed and it involves lots of manpower and resources to do that and Microsoft has such a wonderful platform to you know automate you know such a huge task that could uh, potentially help lots of businesses and you know it's such a wonderful uh, demo again Paul and uh, such a pleasure to have you today thank you again please take care and uh, stay safe that's important today <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for watching today's episode and I'm sure the use case shared by Paul is going to be quite useful for you and you'll be, uh, you, as Paul said, he'll be sharing this extensively in his uh, blog series. Uh, I'll share you the links in the description later. And if you have, also, if you have any interesting integration use cases with the Dynamics 365 and Power Platform within the Microsoft Suite or with any other third party application, and you would like to share it to the world, and you can always you know, feel free to leave your comments in the video, or you can reach out to me in the social media. Please like the video, share it if it's interesting, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. Thank you again. Okay.